uh, I like to think that I'm pretty okay at talking about what Peach needs to do in these matchups. But against Sheik, it gets a little dicey. So we'll see what Bonfire has to bring to the table here. Um, I heard some rumors about Lod potentially playing Box for this tournament. I don't know if those Is are true or not. This tournament? I mean, I know that he switches back between Box and Controller for certain matchups and has been kind of on like entering some tournaments with Box, some with Controller. I have no idea. And honestly, with Peach, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, Laws is a really technical Peach overall, so I don't think there's any like box specific stuff. Really good at crowd cancel down smash. Just calls out Bonfire on that. But uh, in general, it's like I think Box Peach. Like a lot of people talk about Box Fox, Box Falco, like all oh, the Box bases. But like honestly, box a lot Peach of the Box exploded. <laughs> yeah, Box Peach is nuts. I, I see a lot of Box Marths. I don't know if you know um Dark Hero, the Texas Marth player, but have you ever watched Dark Hero play? Uh, he does like instant turnaround uh, pivot down tilt and stuff like that. Just like crazy stuff. But yeah, box box floaties, you gotta watch out for them. Just... Anyway. Yeah, in any case, we'll see Bonfire kind of taking it a little bit slow. Noshi has basically a kill off of grab or just raw hit at this point. So just needs to kind of look for it. And I think Law understands this. And is, yeah, Law understands this wave dashing back and going for like wave dash back uh, down tilt to try to prevent Bonfire from getting a free grab in or uh, float back into fair. Just like not, trying to do things that will cover bonfire, run up and grab, and run up and dash attack. Because those are the two things that she's looking for right now. Run up, grab, run up, dash attack. Okay, or yeah, Lod out, picking uh, up 63% is really good though. Yeah, definitely. I like how Lod's contesting bonfire trying to jump to the side platform. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. I, that, that, that was a decision I didn't like from Bonfire, followed by one that I loved, which was uh, rising Nair off of the down throw into kind of Peach's potential CC, which I didn't think was super crazy, and then just kind of hold charge up smash on uh, the shield poke through platform. But a really clean uh, Nair into Bear uh, on Lot's part of the <gasps> This pressure is nuts! And yeah, I was yeah. like, the turn up is still there. Yep, the down touch of the turn up. I feel like we've seen a lot of peeps be like more creative with turnips recently. They're like throw a turn up and like throw the purse into the turn up or use the turn up to recover something like that. It's cool to see. And it's also cool to see if you're a bonfire fan because uh, she just took that stock with a clean bear. Yeah, actually takes the lead now as well in percent. Looking mm -hmm. really solid but, uh, so far. A lot opening up. Mm -hmm. I like the soft. I'm loving these like soft aerials into like grab or soft aerial into another soft aerial on Peach's part. Mr. Saturn. Wow, Bonfire actually grabs the turn up mid up or like before getting through the up B mm -hmm. and is able to use it to recover. And now Lod's in the air getting juggled. It, it's really hard for Peach, or, uh, for the Peach to land sometimes on some of these characters. And it's like Bonfire's the kind of player who will make it as hard as possible. Wow, yeah, Bonfire making this entire stock really challenging for Lod really had to work to earn that one. Yeah, um, I mean, and I feel like it's been a good. Yeah, it's it's been a very solid theme so far in terms of Bonfire's defense of being able to catch turnips consistently, and I feel like even throughout this first game, Lod's caught on to several roll-ins from Bonfire, but Bonfire doesn't really care that much because she's still living through all of it. Really clean, just neutral into the run, a run up grab, a run up boost grab into the aerial and takes stock. We have an even game. Bonfire has been on point with catching these turnips. Yeah, I, I love the way like the character's position where Bonfire's just standing there and it's just like, challenge me, I dare you. <laughs> but Law's taking 66%, or uh, given 66% so far in this game, and he's doing an amazing job of preventing Bonfire from getting any really big opening and using these counter hit aerials like that bear. And oh, these no. turn up into aerials to prevent Bonfire from getting back, and that's probably gonna be it. Ooh, wow. okay, just a really little bit missed space there. Yeah. I think really interesting going for the down tilt. I feel like a lot of pieces that would go for like a down touch or something like that, but Oh my god! Turn up into down air into nair. What was that? That was good. Lod taking it first uh first game on the board, and I do want to point out. I think all of that basically started, if anyone wants to rewind and take a look, Bonfire tried to catch a turnip. So for as much as we praised how consistent she was with catching turnips, I think she went for it at a kind of a bit of an awkward range. And Lod opened up that entire stock as a result of what looked like a jab to try to catch that turnip. 
Yeah, just extremely great awareness from Vlad of catching on to bonfires like habits and like being able to punish something that's seemingly like not the most obvious thing to try to punish. Okay, game two going to three platform here on Battlefield, but Lod trying to get this first stock, not quite able to get it. Yep, catches Bonfire on the apex of the rope B. Steals the stock with these turnips. I really like how, I mean, it's something that a lot of people do, but just in general, like using the turnip and throwing it will turn the Peach around. So using it to like get to ledge a lot faster and like mix up like the direction Peach is facing for mm. like, the kind of aerial you're going to use. Uh, it's just really cool to see. I, don't know, I feel like a lot yeah. of characters don't really use item throws because no one really has item. So like Peach in the mix. So cool yeah, for see. sure. Like Lot in particular is very good at doing that uh, to mix up throw lengths as well, because throws, uh, item throws where your back is to uh, the direction that you're throwing actually travel further than just regular smash throws as well. So he does that to like create super mixes where you're like kind of unsure how far the turnip is going to travel. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful opening, by the way, on Lot's part. Like, got 82% basically out of nothing and just chased Bonfire from one side platform to the other and you no know, float. Might lose the stock, actually. Yeah, bonfire with the lead. Again, like you said, it's starting to punish bonfire for grabbing the turnip. Literally got the aerial and might take the stock off of punishing bonfire for grabbing a turnip. Yeah, it does get... Oh, nice pickup there for uh, the Omsa tech. It gets a little bit weird, and you kind of saw it in the way that that edge guard developed on the side of Vlad, in that Bonfire caught the first turn up and then got pushed off for a second edge guard situation, and then Bonfire felt like she needed to immediately throw turn up right there. So I guess either the option's open for her to catch it again, or to create some type of mix-up where she intentionally runs into the turn up to get an up B that's a little bit closer to ledge. So it gets kind of weird there, and it's, it's hard for a... Uh, bonfire to consistently come back if she keeps getting reset off ledge mm -hmm. i feel like something there's something i want to point out really quick that i saw in that last stock where lot i see um i've been seeing a lot of floaties do this recently where it's like you're at low percent and you purposely get hit by a weak aerial and then like mm -hmm. di to the ground land first and then are able to punish like your opponent while they're in the middle of their hit and we saw that uh during Bonfire's Nair, where Lod got hit by it perfect, like intentionally, and then landed to the ground and hit on it while the Nair was still happening. And it's just, like, you just gotta be really weary of, like, while Peach is floating, getting hit by a really soft aerial when she's at a percent where she can de Yeah, yeah, that. the big example I can think of that compares to that is uh, the Peach is intentionally short hopping into, like, Fox Shine Fox, nowadays, yeah. where they can't, like, immediately get free uh, Wave Shine up smash or any type of combo because Peach will just become actionable if they jump into it now. Yeah, I see, uh, what is it, like, Wally made a video about that, and I seen a lot of people do that recently, and it just makes it very, very brutal for Fox, who are used to, you know, wave shot and smashing, or wave shot and Dot eyes is actually pretty huge, okay. Not quite gonna get there, but double jab, yeah, that was such good pressure by yeah, Legend, it's yep. just reset. This should be a flow chart, rinse and repeat on Lod's part, gets up a little bit early, but Bonfire rolls up, Buffer rolls away. It's pretty scary. Gets a really big grab. Platform tech chase tries to go for a down air or something like that, but isn't able to convert. Oh, that Ooh, was that was Stitch. Stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Bonfire just rolling in. This is like scary stuff. I feel like Lot is not prepared for Bonfire to just like continue just like pressure into center stages. That's enough, she maybe. Has, I think Bonfire can get back. No? Oh wow. Well, maybe go Zelda or something like that. But yeah, really, really good stuff from Lot. I mean, that was a dangerously 